In this video we're going to take a look at how to create a scatter chart in Excel 2013. Uh, to create a scatter chart you need some data for your x-axis values and then the points that you want to plot on the y-axis. And to get started here let's just uh, select both columns of data. Um, the column headings are optional but if you do include them uh, there's a small advantage later on. Uh, let's go to the insert tab here and we're going to go to the charts group and in the charts group uh, one of the options here is a scatter chart and you've got several choices we're just going to take the first one and uh, here's our chart and these are some options over here we're going to add uh, first of all uh, because we included amount over here amount is the title of the chart now that's easy to change you can just click on it here uh, go up here and just put in whatever you want for the chart title when you hit the enter key um, it'll replace it and if you want to put uh, labels down at the bottom to make things a little bit more clear which is probably a good idea you can click on the plus sign here uh, which is what you click on to add things to the chart and click on axis titles and if you turn that on you get both a y-axis title and an x-axis title and again all you have to do is click on them and if you click on the edge, uh, you'll get a solid line. If you click inside, you'll get a dotted line. And I think the easiest way is to make sure you have the solid line. Then you can just type it in up here instead of typing it in sideways. So this would be, um, we'll just call this amount. And it automatically changes when you hit the enter key. And I've got the solid line there. Uh, if you click inside, you get the dotted line. So click on the edge and get the solid line. And let's type in um, percent and since you're doing you'll be doing real data it'll be easier for you to come up with more descriptive titles here for the axes and uh, then the other thing we want to do here is we want to uh, add a trend line and we've got choices for a trend line and uh, linear is the default and so there's our trend line and um, whoops let's turn that back on again and then click on the arrow over here then we've got more options okay and uh, one of the other options is to display the equation on the chart and there is our equation for us and this is just a text box uh, which means you can go to the edge here and get your four headed arrow and drag it around and put it any place you want to and you should also be able to go back to the home uh, tab here and uh, you know format it any way you want to uh, move it any place you want to um, you know change the color if you want um, it's pretty much, you can do anything with this that you could do with ordinary text here. Um, if you go to the home tab, the options that are available to you will be lit up and the things that are not available like these over here will be grayed out. And then the last thing I like to do with the chart is um, go to the design tab here and go to the rightmost button and move it and um, put it on a new sheet. And if you want to change the sheet name, you can, but that's not all that important unless you're going to have a lot of charts in here and you want to be able to know which one is which. And click on OK, and there it is. And now if you go to print this out, uh, the nice thing about this is when you go to print it out, it prints out as a full page, um, which is nice and easy to read. And you can go in here if you want to and um, go to Page Setup. And uh, if you need a hard copy of this, you can go here and you can add a custom header, click in the right side, and put in your name. Click on OK. And uh, I don't think there's much other stuff here. This is pretty much irrelevant. Um, nothing else here. Other, If you want to put a footer in, again, you can do that too. Uh, margins you probably don't need to mess with and for a chart usually you I think you're going to want landscape orientation and other than that uh, that's about it for these page setup options click on OK and then when you're ready go ahead and print it and now this stuff when you blow it up like this you know the numbers don't look quite as big or as easy to read as they were before so what you might want to do is after you move it to a page by itself just to make your chart a little bit easier to read uh, just click on the individual elements here and go over here and you know make them a little bit bigger and it's just you know click on it and when the handles appear just go up here and change the size and and now it's ready to print that's all there is to it 